each and every points the distance between k and h and the radius capital r so let us mark the points l1 l2 j to i so we need to learn all the measures or the distance first in order to create the isometric drawing so this angle is also required and here it is 45 degree and this angle will be 30 degree we will use all this distance in order to create the isometric view so we have now all the points of the geometry all the radius and angles and all the points so we are we have this modified view so we inscribed in a rectangular and then we will produce the isometric view with the help of isometric axis let us draw first isometric axis so we need one this axis and a to b here to in order to create the top view we don't need the vertical axis that is the edge axis we don't require edge we only require d and l axis so let us first complete the rectangular in top view and then produce one by one all the measures that is known to us and simply join them with the known angles and known radius so we are moving here with that circle method so the same steps needs to be done that we have done in previously a uh, rectangular method then the known distances l1 and l2 and now from them to, in order to create j to i we need to produce angle 45 degree that also we can do with the help of distance so this is the 45 degree will be joining simply and by that way we can complete the view in a top view so the same way for the left hand side view top view either top views will be true so the same way the only difference can be visible in radius again it is visible from here that radius will be changed and the method will be the same in order to create the circle so this will be a quarter of a circle let us move further another 3d section so this will be our front view and this one is our top view it is visible 15 and the height is 50 and length is 100 so this is a simple geometry and we will see how to create so let us draw first a block with the same dimension so here we have another method to create the isometric drawing so we have generated the same dimension 3d geometry and in order to create the radius which is given a 10 we will simply mark these two points and we will get the center of that radius by joining these two lines at 90 degree and draw the same method in order to create the curve and the same way the other side let us join the two 90 degree lines and get the point C2 so this will be our curve as we have seen the radius is given so we will repeat the same step with the same distance here and point C2 by simply joining this line 
we will complete the figure so this will be the complete isometric drawing of this given isometric orthographic view so this example to show how to create the radius another example that is pentagon prism so the height is 100 mm and the name is given a b c d and e we will complete first the the plane so we we'll let us show first left hand side view and one two three four so the no the distance between one to e is known so let us get a point e on line one to four and then point D which will be the middle point then C on the line 3 to 2 and then A and B on the line 1 to 2 so we have now a pentagon in isometric so repeat the same procedure for the other plane of that pentagonal which is 100 mm away so simply draw a parallel line or say projection so 1 2 3 and 4 lines will be visible and the other end line will be dotted as it is not visible this is just an illustration so 1 2 and 3 lines or say sides will be visible and the, this side a dash b dash and b dash c dash will not be visible so hence it is dotted line so cylinder the cylinder will be the same procedure as the pentagonal one so again we need to create only the visible sides the other sides we we have seen so we need to draw this radius and this radius in order to finish the other end as the inner radius will not be visible in other plane so this is the same procedure that we used to create this 3d isometric view of the circle so let us see one more problem it is a cube in 3d it will look like this a cube with a hollow section in 3d it will be looks like this a cube with a circular section isometric will look like this then another section will be look like this support rib will look like this and another problem let us take a simple block our figure will show the orthographic projection of a cut simple block draw its appropriate isometric view and giving its dimensions so we can produce any of this LHSV or RHSV so the appropriate isometric will be true in any of the side view so the figure is given the front view and with its dimensions let us give a name of the sections and then top view so we have front view and top view of a figure so we need to produce the isometric view of the same drawing and let us give a top view as a section 1 2 and 3 and front view we have a b c and d so we will see that how to create isometric drawing so as i mentioned normally the dotted line that means the line which, which is not visible is not to be drawn on the isometric view unless it is 
specific required on the to reveal on the object sometimes it is required to show but in the most cases we don't use dotted line so this will be the side view that is right hand side view and the section a and b so here we have dotted line so means that here the section is cut and the distance is given 55 so let us produce with the help of this orthographic views let us draw first section 1 we will see step by step since it is the very simple geometry or simple orthographic views we can produce directly with the distance given as we have clearly differentiated the sections 1 and 2 now we need to produce section 3 so hence we will take the 40 from the front view as it is the elevation given in the front view and this will be our A so this will be clearly visible from front view so we need to produce B, C and D so in this way without drawing axis we are producing the isometric that is section B, C and D and for the right hand side view this will be A and B so here is the complete isometric view of the same geometry or say orthographic so if the orthographic view are very simple we don't required to draw isometric line we can simply produce the isometric view based on the section so we clearly differentiate the section and then we are using the individual section and their dimension to create the isometric view so this is the one more simple example of how to create isometric view from the orthographic view another isometric view another method we will see the next one which is to draw with the help of full dimension so in order to draw the isometric view with the help of cube system or say let's say full dimension system we need to measure that what are the maximum dimensions are given in the orthographic views and then we will draw first a cube and then we will draw the geometry inside the cube so we will draw on the it faces let us see one more problem next to this one so front view and top view is given of a machine part sketch its isometric view so we have two sections which is front view and top view let us use this isometric and create the isometric view another method so we are using all over dimension we are drawing first a cubical C figure and then we are using the overall dimensions and we will generate the ortho with the help of orthographic views we will create isometric view inscribed to this figure so by using the all the measures we simply draw whatever the measure is given one by one on the side faces and we have to continue we have to give a depth to that figure and we will draw that on the top view here is a given square hole of 20 so we have drawn first a 
center line for that hole we have drawn a rib and simply joining so this will be our center line means the middle of this line and by this way we are drawing first a cube and then inscribed a figure completely and our isometric view is over so we used all the interior dimensions in order to create here one more thing we need to mention that the all lines will be parallel to each other and these are the isometric lines so we have only the parallel lines to the isometric axis so here our axis will be this this and this so all the lines we are seeing will be per parallel to the each other so this line will be parallel to this line similarly the front view line will be parallel to the top isometric and hence the side view lines are parallel so each and every lines are parallel and in order to draw the rib will be we need to find out the midpoint and here also the midpoint and to simply join them we can create the rib and it will be frequently given let us take one more so in this figure there is one more so this is the another method to create isometric view that two sections are given so it's a part of a component of a machine so it's given front view and top view let us draw the isometric view in one more method which is to separate the view the whatever the views are given we simply separated it and we are using let us see how to draw this isometric view so we are given the measures height is 15 here the radius is 30 the length is 1